hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me on today's video my name is Anne. this is scent Lucians, and we're all about perfumes and all things that smell nice on this channel so if you like that kind of content and you like my videos consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you know when i post a new video guys today i have a nice video for you i have a fun video actually this is the fragrantica reader's choice awards for 2022 where basically they did a poll or something and then got feedback from the readers to come up with a compilation of different categories of awards with different perfumes taking the top spot so we're going to be talking about let's say 15 categories today but there are two that i will go slightly in depth so one is the best perfume for women for 2022 and then the second is the best i think women's perfume of all time now for those ones i'll talk about the contenders not just the winners but for the others I'll talk about the winners and i'm not going to go through all the categories just the ones that speak to me so let's start with the best perfume for women for 2022 okay so there were 10 contenders for this spot at number 10 you had vanilla diorama by dior i've heard about that one and i think it deserves its spot very good girl carolina herrera came nine at eighth position you have arian goddess intense now this i have i have the alien goddess i don't have the intense version but i've gotten my nose on it and it's really nice very nice vanilla coconut very intense you know it's almost like alien dna plus alien goddess dna just working together you have at the number seven spot delina la rose by perfumes de mali obviously delina i mean for the past few years Delina has been making waves. They make very good quality perfume, so I'm not surprised at that. Number six, you have Shalima Milasin Tonka Gualan. Now, I haven't gotten my nose on this, so I may not, I won't be able to comment on that. At number five, we have Musk Noir Rose, and this is uh, Narciso Rodriguez. This is for her. This perfume is sexy as hell. So, typical Narciso Musk, but done differently there's some tubers in here there's plum you know it's just it's a, it's a very sexy fragrance very sexy very understated you don't see this fragrance coming there's a, it's a beautiful rose with so many nuances at number four you have la belle les parfums by jean paul gaultier this is a beautiful pear vanilla rich very very pretty perfume i didn't like it at first but I definitely now appreciate it a lot more. And this came through at number four. At number three, we've got Angel Share, the Anniversary Edition by Killian. And then number two, which I totally agree with, totally, totally agree with, is Lundredi by Givenchy. And this is the Rouge Edition. This came in at number two. And in 22, this was my best perfume for last year. This perfume just took the cake. Beautiful, beautiful tuberose, some pimento. It's just very rich and sexy and intoxicating. And I totally agree with the spot. Now, the winner for this category was actually Libre Le Parfum. I have the Libre Intense, so but the pretty the bottles pretty much look alike so i'm just showing this for reference and that was the winner and i i agree that that is a very beautiful perfume very very sensual very sexy very intoxicating it's just lavender and vanilla done beautifully now if we were to take if it were to be left for me i would have given this spot honestly to lundre de rouge i honestly love that perfume i just it's so beautiful like i can't stop raving about it but libre le perfume not a bad option as well very beautiful take on ysl libre very beautiful take on the lavender perfume so that is your number one spot for best women's best perfume for women in 2022 okay now we'll go to the other 
category that I wanted to touch on is the best women's perfume of all time. Now, here you have also 10 contenders for this spot. And at number 10, we have Narciso Rodriguez for her. That's the one in the black bottle. I believe that's the Eau de Toilette because I have the Eau de Parfum, but that didn't feature here. So that's at number 10. I mean, people like that perfume. It's a nice rose perfume. People like it. I haven't gotten my nose on that, so I can't comment. At number nine, we have Delina by Perfumes de Mali. I have Delina exclusive. And I mean, guys, Delina is just your beautiful rendition of a rose perfume. I mean, this is quality at its finest. Quality at its finest. Entry level niche, as far as I'm concerned, for someone who just wants to dip their toes into the niche waters. Beautiful, beautiful rose perfume. Number eight was Dior Addict. That smells to me actually like um wire cells manifesto because I got my nose on it recently. It has that herby green vanilla type of feel. It kind of reminded me of manifesto because I wanted to get it, but when I smelled it, I felt like I didn't need to have two of the same perfumes in my collection or similar smelling perfumes. At number seven, we had Mongorlan. And this is a rich, beautiful lavender vanilla. This is such a comforting perfume. This is just beauty in a bottle. This is a timeless classic. I don't think this perfume will ever go out of fashion. At number six, you have Shalima Eau de Parfum. That's another one that I really want to get my nose on. At number five, you have Libre Intense, which is the one that I have. And this is a beautiful lavender vanilla perfume. It is so stunning, guys. This perfume, a beast. Love, love, love. And yes, I think it deserves that spot. At number four, you actually have Bacara Rouge 540 by mfk maison francis Jean, and this one i mean over the past few years has really taken the fragrance community by storm so i'm not surprised to see it here do i agree with the position maybe not but then again we all have different views of this perfume i feel like this perfume is so polarizing but it's at the number four alien by muggler now this is another one that i did not like from you know the start i feel like it's such a polarizing perfume i'm surprised it's appearing as best perfume of all time because my i don't know my assumption was that people i mean people like it but i feel like there were also an equal number of people who did not really get with this so i'm surprised to see it here does it deserve the spot I think so. In terms of uniqueness, I think so. But anyway, this comes up at the number three spot. At number two, we have Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Coco Mademoiselle is just that perfume that really does nobody any wrong. Um, beautiful floral perfume that, you know, citrusy floral is Chanel. It's classic. This perfume stands the test of time. It's one of those perfumes I feel like will never really go out of fashion it would always be there people will want to keep it in their collections just to you know just for the iconic appeal it's an iconic perfume in my opinion so yeah at number two now interesting number one spot and that went to hypnotic poison by dior i i didn't see this coming and maybe because i haven't gotten my nose on the older formulation right this is not an older for me i think i got this maybe a year a year and a half ago and i didn't this is another one that i grew to like but it was a journey right so but i i didn't see it being like the number one spot i, I, I don't i didn't think it would be but this is a, this is an almond vanilla fragrance has a bit of a play doughy scent to it for me, when I layer this, it's beautiful. When I layer it with like sweet perfumes, it really works well. But I didn't see getting the number one spot. But according to Fragrantica readers, this 
is the best women's perfume of all time. Now, I would want to know in the comments if you agree or disagree with all these um, with all these ratings. So we're going to go into the other perfumes and some of the other spots. So I'm not going to go into details on those. I'll just tell you the winners. Okay, so there was one category that made me laugh. And that one was called, I hate this perfume. <laughs> and this perfume, 1 million by Paco Rabanne, actually won that spot. So if you have this perfume, please let me know. Is it so, is it so terrible? Now, the next award was for best shipper of the last decade okay and that went to chloe nomad and i totally agree this is a beautiful shipper fragrance and it is so so unique and stunning and i love this so yes it deserves it best marketing campaign for 2022 actually went to soki london's empress and you know i think she crowdfunded that so Obviously, that's a very new approach to like funding and all of that. So I guess that kind of positioned her for that spot. So she got the best marketing campaign and I'm happy for her. I watch her channel a lot as well. Um, the next one is for the worst marketing campaign and it went to Phantom Legion by Paco Rabanne. So it's those robotic looking perfumes. It's in the same vein as Fame. So that had the worst marketing campaign. Oh, Next one, we have the best niche perfume of all time. And it's called the 1861, you know, that XJ 1861 Naxos by um, Zerzhov. Now I have one that mirrors that perfume. This is called Vo Elegante by Emir. This one is from a Middle Eastern fragrance house, but it's inspired by that perfume. And again, this is a cinnamon lavender type of perfume with some citrus. Really, really beautiful. If you like a perfume like YSL Libra, you would like this, even though the one from Zerzhov is richer and it's just, it's amazing. Now, this one won the best niche perfume of all time so if you have this perfume or you've smelt it please let me know in the comments if it's deserving of that award next up you have africa in perfumes i guess these are perfumes with some african inspiration and the one that won this was l'air du désert marocain tour perfumes okay i haven't heard of that before but if you know that perfume please let me know if it's good if it's deserving Next up, we have the best Middle Eastern perfume for 2022. And guess who won? I'm not surprised. Camera by Latafa. I mean, last year was Camera's year. This perfume was sold out in most of the online stores. This is just a beautiful date, you know, cinnamon, very spicy sweet perfume that is supposed to be inspired by angel share by killian so yeah this perfume made waves last year very affordable really sweet long lasting all the works and i think it deserved that spot now for best french niche perfume the perfume that won this spot was gris chanel extract by bdk i've gotten my nose on that perfume I have my comments, but I'll, I'll reserve them. But anyway, it won that spot for best French niche. So if you agree, let me know. I know a lot of people like it. Best Italian niche perfume is Italica by Zerzhov. Best American niche perfume for 2022 is followed by Kerosene. I've seen this reviewed on a number of channels. This is one perfume that I would love to get my nose on. People have very beautiful things to say about it i guess for this perfume what really makes me laugh is the name of the 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 designer as kerosene i mean that where i come from kerosene is like a, it's a fuel that you use for lamps and stuff like that and it has a terrible smell so anytime i hear you know something something by kerosene it kind of makes me remember kerosene lamps and how awful they used to smell and i just can't 
seem to reconcile perfumes with kerosene. So that that's just something that you know got me thinking. Like I've never been able to reconcile the name. Okay, now you have best British niche, and so I'd like my British subscribers to tell me if they agree or if they've gotten their nose on this perfume. And this one is from Penhaligons. It's Legacy of Petra. Now for best niche perfume of 2022, it's Gris Chanel X-Ray BDK. This is the same one that won the best French niche. So guys, if you've gotten your nose on Gris Chanel, let me know. I had a different experience when I tried it. I didn't quite like there was something in the opening i don't know some mentholy feeling that i did not quite like so let me know if you've you have this perfume if you've tried it and what you think about it and if you if you agree that it deserves this spot next up we have the best perfume unisex so best unisex perfume for 2022 and guess who won angel share anniversary edition by killian so I saw that coming because that's another one that a lot of people like. And you can see that the feelings are consistent because Camera, which is like inspired by Angel, also won the best spot for Middle Eastern perfume. So yeah, there you have it. I guess people are drawn to that profile. Now for the best perfume for men. So this one is a Sauvage Elixir by Dior. I have the Dior Sauvage. I bought this for my husband last year when there was all the rage about it. And, you know, he really, really loves it. So this one won the best male perfume or best perfume for men for 2022. So there you have it, guys. I tried to do this as quickly as I could. I didn't want to waste too much time. There are other awards there, but these are the ones that really stood out to me. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you agree with these ratings tell me what your thoughts are tell me the ones that you think deserve their spot tell me the ones that you don't think deserve to be on this list and till i see you on another video continue smelling nice and enjoy your, the rest of your day or night bye guys